Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina returned home Tuesday night, wrapping up her fourth official visit to Canada. Eid al Fitr is knocking at the door as the city dwellers have started leaving capital Dhaka. An election schedule of Rajshahi, Silat and Borishal cities have been announced. Viewers, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Mighty English Bulletin. I'm Sheila Iqbal with you at the newsroom today, watching the headlines. Now we'll go for the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina returned home Tuesday night, wrapping up her fourth official visit to Canada to attend the outreach session of G7 Summit. The Prime Minister joined the outreach session of the G7 Summit at the invitation of her Canadian counterpart, Justin Trudeau. An Emirates flight carrying the Premier and her entourage members lady landed at Hazar Shazalan International Airport in Dhaka at 11.20 p.m. On her way back home, Sheikh Hasina had a five our stopover in Dubai. The Prime Minister attended the outreach season of the G7 summit at Hotel Le Monnier, Richelieu, and Quebec on Saturday. Eid al Fitr is knocking at the door. As the city dwellers have started leaving capital Dhaka for their village homes to celebrate Eid with their near and dear wounds. Most of the houses from Gaptuli terminal left timely. Meanwhile, all the passengers' trains from Kamlapur railway station in Dhaka maintain their timetable till this noon. Our staff correspondent said that from the spot, Railway Minister Mujibul Haq visited the rail station this afternoon as well. Election schedule of Russia, Silet and Barishal cities have been announced. Chief Election Secretary Halal Uddin Ahmed declared the schedules on Wednesday noon. Mayoral elections in the cities will be held on July 30th, he said. According to the election schedule announced, the last date for filing nomination is June 20th and withdrawing July 9th. The nomination papers will be scrutinized on July 1st and 2nd. The tenures of three city corporations will expire by this October. The tenure of Rajshay City Corporation will expire 5th of October and Sirit on 8th and Borishal on 24th of October. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Ubaidul Qadir said that Khalid Azia should not reject combined military hospital for having treatment as she earlier expressed reluctance to get that at Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Medical University. Qadir added, CMH is the best hospital of the country as Khalid Azia is the chairperson of the large part and a former Prime Minister therefore government put forward the proposal of a best hospital. Ubaidul Qadir was inspecting traffic conditions at Gaptoli Inter-District Bus Terminal. This morning, two persons, including a police constable, were crushed by a truck at Digorkanda Bypass intersection area of Mamensing Town Wednesday. Police said that the Jew died on the spot as a Mamensing bound truck lost control and rammed some five to six of rickshaws and Mohindro around 7.30 a.m. The truck driver possibly fell asleep and that led to the accident. The bodies were sent to Mamensing Medical College Hospital for autopsies. Viewers, that is all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News online, visit www.youtube.com slash News and watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecasted in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Till then, I'm Shulaikbal, taking your leave. Stay safe and connected. Allah bless.